today on Clearly Colleen, we're going to look at my yard, my natural native crazy yard. Hey, it's me, Colleen. So in this video, I'm going to show you my yard. Um, I like a more natural native yard. My husband's not a fan of it. Um, and I really love sunflowers, so you're going to see my sunflower patch. And um, this is just the way I like my yard. Now it has been raining a lot, so it is a little taller than I would normally like. So I'm gonna cut it just a little bit. I think I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit today and maybe cut it tomorrow. And there goes Anakin in the background. He's very excited that we're outside, but um, I'll show you what I do. of the sunflowers you can see them here um, hubby asked that I give him like at least a foot here by where his motorcycle is I decided not to take up the big one because it's already flowering and getting some good bird and bug activity so I'm leaving that one um, and I'm probably gonna leave these in the background as well and I'll just kind of mow around it I'm not sure what the name is of these purple flowering plants I'm gonna check and see what they are and if they have any benefit I may leave them and then you can see in the back, um, that's my pollinator garden and my dog running wild. And so my blue mist is growing um, and I have some other things that I think I'm gonna take, pick up and try to take actually to my campus because we have some erosion problems over there. So I do have a very wild, very native backyard and I am gonna trim it up a little bit, um, but I do leave it fairly wild and native because that's what I like so that the birds and the bees and the bugs and the butterflies will all come and the dog doesn't seem to mind he seems to be enjoying it okay I can barely breathe but so I cut down a lot of the yard as you can see I left my sunflowers and I still need to deal with that but I just got started and that's where my pollinator garden is um, I left some of the Mexican petunia because the hummingbirds really like it and then the blue mist is what the monarchs like and the different butterflies. And then this is just a ground cover. Um, so it just kind of keeps everything holding in the moisture. And then of course more sunflowers because they populated. And then I left those Mexican petunias because there were actually hummingbirds in them today. And then if we come around to the side of my house, whew, I can't breathe. So I need to deal with all of that that's grown up into the fence. I think I'm gonna have to salt the earth, which I hate doing. And then I had planted olive vera over here. I have like a little side garden, um, but it has died, but some of it is trying to come back. And I don't know what this is called. Um, my family used to call it something, but I don't know if it's an appropriate name, so. But anyways, this plant right here with the little purple flowers, it's coming back as well. So I need to clean this garden area out and deal with all of that. <sighs> So here I am all hot and sweaty, but I'm in my sunflower patch. That makes me super, super happy. And I'm pretty tall, so you can tell how tall these are. Um, so I can't wait for there to be birds out here and bugs just enjoying it. But that's my yard. I keep it kind of native and people probably don't like it, but that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> 